Hey folks, Sheila here from Design Files. I just wanted to pop on with a quick video to show you a faster and more efficient way to source products online by using the Design Files Browser Clipper. Now, if you're not familiar with using Browser Clippers, it's basically a tool that will allow you to go to any vendor site and immediately grab the product images and all the product specific details and save that directly to your Design Files account, which you can then add to any design board, quote, invoice, purchase order, etc. So it's really gonna streamline your process and save you a ton of hours. Now, if you haven't had a chance to grab the Design Files Browser Clipper yet, all you have to do is log into your Design Files account, go into the menu up here in the top right hand corner, click on the option that says Get Browser Clipper, and it's gonna take you to the Browser Clipper page where it'll show you a couple of steps for how to install it. But basically, it's dead simple. All you have to do is make sure that your bookmarks bar is open in your browser, and then click and drag this button up to your bookmarks bar. And when you're hovering over the right area, you'll see that little no-go icon turn into a plus sign, release it, and it's gonna show like this. Now that that's added, you can go to any vendor site and start clipping products. Now, one key thing to know, when you're going over to a vendor site to clip products, you do not want to clip a product from the main category page like this one right here. You always want to make sure that you go directly into the product detail page because that's where you're going to get the best product images and all the product specific details. So now that I'm on the product detail page here, I can go ahead and I can click on the add to design files option in my bookmarks bar, and you're gonna see the clipper expand out from the right side of the screen. Now in this case, CB2 has this product shot from multiple angles. So if I actually preferred to get the product shot on a white background, and I would actually highly recommend that you do this because if you save an image uh, that's shot on a white background to your design files account, our system will automatically remove that white background when you add it to a design board. So you don't have to spend the time tracing around this item. Of course, if you can't get the product shot on a white backdrop, don't worry about it. We also have a tracing tool, so you will be able to trace around the item if you need to. But I would definitely recommend getting the product shot on a white background if you can. So in this case, instead of grabbing this image that the uh, clipper has already added in, I'm gonna actually switch it up for this version right here. And to do that, all I have to do is click on the grab icon here, click on the image, and it's gonna fill it in for me. And below that, I've got an option to clip additional product images. And this is a really good thing to do because if you clip additional product images, you can see down here that I can get the product shot from multiple angles, which means no matter what type of design board I'm creating, I can pull in the appropriate version for each of the design boards. So I would definitely recommend taking just a few seconds to grab these. And to do it, all I have to do is click on the image I want, click on the grab icon, click on the image, and then switch over to the next one, click the grab icon, click the image. And I'm just gonna make my way through this until I have all the product images that I want so I can save it all to my Design Files account. Now below that, the system has already grabbed the product name, the vendor, and the source link for you. So you can bypass those steps, and down here you can start adding tags to the product. Now, tags are a really good thing to add to a product because you'll be able to use those tags to search for this product once it's added to your Design Files account. So you could choose to tag an item by the type of product it is, uh, the brand, you could tag it by style, by color, whatever it is that you want. So here, I'd probably add in armchair, and when I hit enter, it's gonna create that tag for this item. And again, you can add as many as you like. Next, you can grab the price. So if I wanted the retail price for this product, I could just click the grab icon here, click on the price. And of course, if you do have a trade account with this vendor, you can add in your trade price that you can get the product for. And you can also include your markup and our system will calculate the client facing price for you. And that's the only price your client will ever see. Down here, you can also add additional details, including the SKU, dimension, or description, dimensions, and material and finish. And again, just use those grab icons. It'll make it quick and easy for you. Click the grab icon, click on the SKU number. Scroll down to the page, click the grab icon, click on the details. Everything fills in, so you're not having to spend that time to manually type in all this product information. When you have everything you want, the last step you're gonna do is go to the top here and you can click on this menu right here where it says, where do you wanna save this item? Now you can save the item to your main library in your Design Files account and I would highly recommend that you do this because if you save it to your library, you'll be able to use this item for any client project moving forward. 
but you could also choose to save it to an individual client project as well. If you just want that curated list of specific products for a certain project. So you can add it to multiple locations and when you're ready, just hit save. Once that item is saved, we'll be able to jump back over to my design files account and I can start pulling this product image into design boards. So I'm going to jump back over to the editor over here and I'm actually just going to refresh my uh, product library here. So I'm already on it, but I want to see all the new saves that I've added. So I'm just going to click off of it and click back in and there it is. There's the chair. Now you'll see arrows on either side of the chair here. So if I wanted the um, version of the chair that showed the back of it, so it's facing towards the sofa, I'm just going to click through these arrows here until I find that version, drag this version out into my design board, scale it into place, and then I'll be able to build out my design so that I have a more realistic look because I've got that product shot from the back. Now I can also, if I was creating a simple mood board design like this one right here, again, I'm just going to flip from my library and flip back so I can show the latest saves. And in this case, maybe I want the front facing version of this chair. So all my products are shot facing the same direction for this particular mood board design. So there you have it. In a few minutes, we've literally been able to go over to a vendor site, grab all the product specific images, grab all the product details, save that information to uh, your library and your design files account, and immediately add those items to two different design boards. So if you haven't, again, I can't stress it enough, if you haven't had a chance to grab the browser clipper, log into your design files account, grab that browser clipper and start using it to source products online. You're going to save a ton of time. Of course, if you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to reach out. We're always happy to help. Thanks for watching.